As we continue our look at inspiration of women, one of America's most influential and respected nonprofit CEOs is using her experience to help families in our communities. Joining us now is Giselle Acevedo, the president and CEO of the Ackerman Institute for the Family. You wear a lot of hats, ma'am. I do. Therapist, you know, former teacher, former lawyer also, right? Right. Which role are you most comfortable in in all these uh, years you've been helping the families? Um, I think being a CEO and making sure that the Ackerman Institute has its place in our community because what the Ackerman Institute does is to, is to provide research, training, and treatment, right? So it's like a place of, of no other that I have ever seen. Um, we have remarkable therapists there mm -hmm. that are using a systems approach, which means that they really focus on the family and they're making sure that families are receiving the therapeutic assistance that they need in order to make it in our world. Yeah. And I was thinking, imagine a, a child who's watching their families get a divorce, right. or a family who's having to deal with incest or rape, or all of the other challenges that our families experience, and how do they survive, how do they make it? Is it tough getting pa families to come to understand that therapy can actually help? So many people, I don't want to say, uh, feel embarrassed or shamed about sure. you know going saying no I need someone to help me get right. things together yeah. you know is it tough to break through when you have that mentality of some people I think that in the past in many very often in communities of color we used to look at therapy as no not me mm -hmm. because we used to equate that with being crazy right but no I think that now families understand that in order to survive in our culture in our world when we think about all of the social justice issues that they're confronted with whether it be poverty or education or racism right. all of the things that our families are, are up against I think that they've actually come to terms with the fact that they can't do it alone and the best way to do it is with the support of a really excellent therapist that'll help them get through those moments I think that's that families are really resilient and as a family they can work through, through their issues uh, in a much better way how do you feel when you see a family that comes in for lack of a better term, broken mm -hmm. or uh, unglued or just mm -hmm. not connected, you know, right. disconnected, let's just use disconnected. Right. And when that connection and, you know, it happens and they leave and everybody's like, the tears are all out and we're going to be okay. How does it make you feel, Giselle? It, it makes me feel really good, right? But more importantly, it makes the family feel really good about themselves and about how they enter the world and about how they see each other, right? That's really the important thing. I'm delighted. But I always know that I'm just a small piece of it, that where the real success lies is when the family is willing to look at their own issues or their own challenges and help to resolve them because then they get to go home, they get to have dinner together, they get to talk about things that happened in their world. And, and again, nothing is as resilient, right, as a family. Right. And, and that's, how, that's how individuals become resilient is because they have the support of their families. Just one more thing in your resume here. Licensed marriage and family therapist, you know. Also, former president and CEO of Para Los Niños. Mm -hmm. And what's Para Los, Para Los Niños? Para Los Niños is also a nonprofit uh, located in Los Angeles that provides educational and social services for children and their families. And so this is very different. This is therapeutic services at Ackerman, but for me, what's important is that nonprofits are a critical part of our community, and I think that because of nonprofits, we help children do better in school. We make sure that children, you know, um, have a sense of self and self-esteem, so they choose their family instead of maybe gangs or something mm -hmm. else that they would otherwise choose. And I think that if we have children who really feel very good about themselves, then society benefits at large, right? Right. That, that's the goal is to have our society benefit because our children feel better about themselves and families are more loving. You've been so engrossed in helping families and communities and particularly mm -hmm. children. May I mm -hmm. ask where the inspiration came from? Let's see, I was raised by a single mother. I'm an immigrant and um, my mother graduated from high school when she was 82 years old and education was a huge part of my mother's life. And so I think that who we are is not just because of who we are individually, but who we become because of our families. Tell us about the October 22nd event. It's a beautiful event at the Essex House here in New York City. I know the Essex and House. It's a, it's a pretty location. <laughs> yes, it is. And we will be um, celebrating 
our faculty at Ackerman and the families that we are so privileged to serve. It's the 12th annual Moving Families Forward yes. Gala, right? Yes, exactly. But, but, and, um, you know, I think it benefits our clinics and it benefits our families. And I keep going back to the fact that it benefits our communities. Keep taking care of the community. We will. You, you know, they, I see why they call you one of the most influential <laughs> and respected CEOs. And all the work that you do, and say hello to everybody at Ackerman for us. I will do that. Come back and Thank see you. us. It's a pleasure. I'm going to hold you to that. I will. All right, everybody. To Thank learn you. more about today's topics, go to our website, fox5ny.com. You can also follow us on Twitter as well as on Facebook. For all of us here at Fox 5, 